Welcome back to another episode of the First Impression series. Today we're going to play Prisoner, a game that I literally got a key for 12 hours ago. Don't know why I want to be that specific. Um, yeah. But things, keys, transparency, and such. Uh, no, nothing, such, so on. Premise of the series, really. And play. Enter does nothing. Uh, how about space? Space does something. Okay. Uh, I can use a controller. Good. Uh, move with the such. Uh, jump is on one. No, movement is on one. Uh, jump is on A. Because I'm using the Xbox controller. Uh, five is, is jump switch. Whatever that is. Uh, use is on 3, which is B, and 2 is screen mode. Right. I presume a platformer. Ooh. Right. Beware. This was made in Unity. Locked. 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 Prepare. Um, okay. Hmm. Ah, right, I'm... I'm on a thing. Right, so pressing B makes you jump once or jump twice. That's all that does. Right. Cool. The green does nothing. I presume that's a blade that I don't want to touch. And I have health on the top. Right. See, I have a problem with that already. They're still, yet... Uh, I, I can't touch them. If I go over here, that blade, if I touch that, well, that's still... Oh, that's fine. That, uh, completely fine. Stick to your own logic. Also... Oh shit, I've just made it 720p. Oh well. Uh, right, jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Is that all I was meant to do? Um... Okay. You died, try again. Okay. <sighs> Randomly generated, because of course it is. Right, drop down. Ow. Ah. <sighs> If you don't know him, I'm, I'm kind of done with randomly generated guff at this point. Uh, yeah, they're just simple Apes Odyssey kind of tricks. <gasps> That's what I should do at some point. Go back and see if Apes Odyssey is good in the first impression series. And I died. Yep, that was Prisoner. A very basic platformer that really frustrates me now because... There's nothing interesting about it. Just continue. No saved games. Well... I didn't know that I could turn up brightness. I didn't know that I could do stuff. Do I have a mouse? Nope. Ooh, I've turned up that brightness. 
by a whole zero percent. Color profile. Ooh. See, doing that on space, not good, because once you go past default, you're fucked. Anyway, um, yes, I exit, and that way I can just jump back in. Ooh. Yeah, locked, lock, complete the game before you can do that. How? The game is literally incompletable because you've done randomly generated... Now you've set on a triggering mechanism of things that fart out the wall that didn't do that before. They literally didn't do it before. Yet now, oh, yep, can't, can't do anything there. Right, go. Ow. Ow. Okay, I died. Cool. Continue. Oh, no saved games because it deletes it. Hmm, good. Yeah, there's... Hmm. To say this is... bad... would be... unfair, but to say that it's... nonsensical... seems right. I mean... Yeah, sure. It's probably all right, but... Uh, I wouldn't have known that that was something I could stand on a second ago. So... The, the game doesn't tell you anything, it just goes, All right, here, here you go. Work it out for yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with it. You know when we had puzzle platformers that were, you know, stuck on grids? Yeah, I liked them. I liked them a lot. Maybe we'll go back to one of them one day. Maybe next time. Anyway, that was Prisoner. It, it essentially tries to do what Apes Odyssey did 20 years ago and kind of fails, in my opinion. It's, I died four times and I've passed two rooms. How many rooms do I have to pass? I don't know. I, I genuinely have no idea what I'm supposed to do because that's what opens the game and you have two things. You can high jump or low jump. That's it. No clue beyond that. Ow. And I died. Yeah, as much as people want to call Apes Odyssey a cunt for the save and the kills and everything, at least it did save when it was trying to do something. Random generation and a puzzle platformer just doesn't... doesn't work. Because it, a part of the puzzle is knowing how to do it. Once you've solved the puzzle, you should be able to go to the next bet, but because this is random generation, it is failing all of the criteria of being a puzzle platformer, and yeah, it's, it's just a 2D puzzle platformer that... Uh, is boring. The art style is uninteresting, the Go back into it. Just keep playing. Just keep doing something instead of stopping and actually doing a review because people don't like an actual review. Yeah. 
that someone's birthday, maybe, in 500,000 years. <sighs> whoop de doo I presume if I slightly go near that, they come down, yeah. What is this? I don't know. It's nothing. Random generation doesn't work in this kind of game because, well, look at it. No, oh, I died even though I had two health. Yeah, it just... If you're going to do a puzzle platformer, don't, don't do it this way. Don't do random generation. Don't throw me off of a thing before I've even touched the game. I have to take damage there because I can't duck, I can't do anything apart from move, jump, high jump, and apparently change the resolution of the screen. Of which you won't see because I'm scaling the bloody thing already. So, oh joy. Yeah, I'm bored of it. I'm genuinely bored of it. The art style's uninteresting, the, the levels. Uh, Whoop-de-doo, I guess. And, ooh. It's not even a puzzle platformer, it's just a platformer that just tries to go, alright, here's a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but shut up, it's a puzzle. Just avoid the things that are trying to kill you, which essentially Apes Odyssey was, but it did it in a sense of, here's a puzzle. Figure out how to get these little creepy men out of the thing. Oh, this is just the same level again. Pretty much. Oh. I'm on A3. Wonder how A4 goes. Right. And I died. And I can't get back to A3 because... Do you see my problems with this? No? Okay. Fuck off then. <laughs>